Yo, what's up? Santi here, and today we're gonna be talking about Luxig and the new mobile apps. So, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so right now I want to talk about some of the considerations, whether you have an Android phone or an iPhone. Things are gonna be slightly different. Let's start with iPhone because it is a bit of a simpler approach. If you do have an iPhone, you should be able to find Luxig on the official mobile app store. So that's pretty cool. I think the same thing should apply to an iPad. So yeah, the Luxig mobile apps are officially released in iOS. Now in Android, I particularly use Android, is not yet on the Play Store as of recording this, meaning that you need to download it a bit more manually. I'm gonna be talking about that later in the video, give you some resources on how to do that, but don't worry, it's not too hard. And also when it comes to syncing, you know, now let's go back again to iPhone, right? Syncing on an iPhone or an iPad should be a lot simpler because you should be able to use iCloud because the system in Apple is just a bit more intuitive, a little bit easier to use actual local folders and sync that across devices. So if you do have kind of like an Apple ecosystem, that's gonna be a lot easier for you. So that's great for you. <laughs> but for the rest of us in Android, particularly I'm in Android and Windows, that you're gonna be needing some type of, of syncing service, right? So you could try to use something like Dropbox. However, because you need to have this, this folder on your local storage in your phone, you need to sync that to your computer. So Dropbox, unfortunately, in Android is gonna be a bit tricky. You're gonna need an additional service such as DropSync. So DropSync I've used in the past. I didn't have the best of experiences. It may be because I was only using the free version or maybe trying to use, you know, Google Drive or OneDrive. I haven't had much luck with that. I've heard it's possible. It's just that it didn't really work well for me. So what I actually ended up doing is using a service, a free service called Sync Thing, which is incredible. Gonna be talking about that in a second. And another consideration that you should have in Android is that if you're gonna use this beta version before it's released on the Play Store, just make sure that you're in the latest version of Android. So in my case, let me show you. Well, it's not a battery, but this was my older phone. This was my Samsung S8, Galaxy S8. And this could only update to Windows. Windows, <laughs> what am I talking about? This could only update to Android 9. And I couldn't use the Luxig app in here as well as some other apps. It was already giving me issues. So I decided to upgrade. So I finally got a new phone, really excited for it. This is a Google Pixel 6. And I was able to upgrade to Android 12 in this one. So with that, I can confirm that the Luxig app works. I've heard bad things about even Windows. Not Windows, what am I talking about? I've even heard a bit of problems with Android 10 and Android 11. I'm really not sure if Luxig right now works across Android 11, for instance, but I can confirm that it works on Android 12. Not that great if you are in Android 9, for instance, like I used to be. So yeah, definitely keep an eye on which type of uh, phone you have, because that might be a bit of a limitation. Hopefully this is something that is solved over time. I, I was definitely in the Discord trying to see if other people were experiencing this and yeah, it seems to be a thing. So hopefully they can change that. But for now, yeah, Android 12 should work great and I can confirm it works really good. Okay, now going back to syncing, right? So again, if you're in an iPhone, iCloud should be your best bet. Honestly, I haven't tried that myself, but I've heard really good things about that working really well. But now if you are in Android, again, I do recommend this service called Sync Thing is an open source free service. So that is incredible. The fact that it's free already trumps any other alternatives. It does come with the con of like, like many other open source services, it might be a little bit trickier to set up. And that is exactly why I decided to upgrade a whole section in my Luxie course in order to help those of you that are struggling with that. So give it a try. If you can do it by yourself, honestly, you like, I think it's possible, but if you do get stuck, do take a look at the new sections that I have in my Luxie course. It will help you a lot if you're struggling because I didn't find many resources on how to achieve this. I just spent a good portion of like a couple of days just making sure that I got it, that I understood it perfectly so that I can explain it to you in the best way that I could. So if you need that help, definitely check out my Luxie course. And apart from that, it has a couple of other good sections that will help those of you that are particularly beginners or want to achieve things such as using Luxie side by side with Obsidian, that kind of stuff. So do check out my Luxie course. It does help a lot and it does support keeping this channel afloat. So yeah, do check it out. And once you have that set up, honestly, it's pretty reliable. I really, I really enjoyed it. It's, it was was way better than I thought, to be honest, for a free service. It works great. I can just take notes on my computer and later see that on my phone and the other way around. If you ever stumble upon some conflict of two files, the desktop app, the one that I currently use called Sync Tracer, it's called, which is kind of like the more visual version of Sync thing that you can use on your computer, particularly on Windows. You should be able to install that in Mac as well. That app is going to help you resolve any issues in case you accidentally wrote something in your phone at the same time as your computer. So yeah, you know, it does have ways to solve of those little things, but I honestly think is the best alternative we have right now. Now, moving on to the future of Luxig, I'm really looking forward to a syncing service of their own, similar to what Obsidian did with Obsidian Sync, which is an incredible service, very reliable, very good.
good. I really am looking forward to something like that in Luxic, which takes us to the Luxic roadmap. You can always Google this Luxic roadmap and it's going to show a Trello board. And you can see in here that file sync in storage is something that they're working on and is under doing. So hopefully that will come soon. If that comes soon, I think that is going to be by far the best alternative. However, don't expect this to be free. I don't think this will be free. It should be a paid service, which I think the Luxic team <laughs> truly deserves it. So if you do want to support Luxic, I think that is a good option in the future. But for now, we're stuck, especially if you're in Android, we're stuck with third party services for syncing. So again, sync thing is your best bet. Trust me, I've tried a lot of things and for me, that is what has worked the best. If you do know of other better solutions, do let me know in the comments so that others here can, can learn from different alternatives and different approaches. So there you have it, folks. You can now use Luxig on your mobile with a couple of difficulties, but nothing too bad. I already use it every single day and I just love the ability to be able to outline in my phone. I was trying to do that in Obsidian in the past, but honestly, outlining in the Obsidian mobile app is just not as good because it's really not an outliner, whereas Luxig is a dedicated outliner. So it is a much better experience when it comes to outlining on the phone. The fact that we can also store these in plain text files, trust me, it's worth it. I know that the syncing is kind of a pain, especially if you come from using other apps that just have cloud storage and you just log into your account, see it in all your devices. I know that is a lot easier and a better user experience in the short term, but the fact that you can own your files, even if it's a bit tricky at first to learn how to sync across devices, uh, I think it's something worth it. You know, the fact that you can own your files is worth it in the long term. So if you just give Luxig a chance and, and make sure that you set things up correctly, you should be good. But I do understand that is a bit of a pain. That's why I decided to add those sections to my Luxig course to make it easier for those of you that are struggling with that, because I know it's not not that easy you know so either way hope you have a great week and i hope you're as excited as i am about these really cool updates from luxic and i'm really looking forward to see what comes next so with that said i'll see you next time bye I'm pretending to use my computer. I can't see anything with this. <laughs> see ya.